Welcome to the Power Reel 15 minute core and much more. We're gonna be working those muscles around your torso and a little bit extra. So go ahead and grab any Power Reels that you want. The red is our toughest resistance, blue is middle, and yellow is our lightest, and you can switch it up at any time. Every exercise that we're doing, we're gonna be doing 30 seconds per side, and then switching, going into that second exercise, twice through that circuit. No problem, you got this. Okay, so we are starting with our wood chops, repeats. So outside one leg and pull that core in, navel towards your spine, hang those power reels down outside of your leg. We're going for 30 seconds, repeat. Bring it up, 30 seconds. So we want a nice rotation through your torso. And as you do that, you're going into a squatting position. So make sure that those knees point towards and over your toes rather than collapse in, all right? So pulling that power reel, that's added resistance to that twist, working the backside of those torso muscles. All right, in three, two, one, switch sides and go. 30 seconds, don't forget to exhale, good. Get a nice rotation. So we're pulling that shoulder back. Make sure that it's rotating towards that leg and then out over the opposite side. Great. How are you feeling? All right. Bring it back. 30 seconds total. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. We're doing a standing side crunch. Power reels go up overhead. This one's a little bit tricky in that you are going to be driving that elbow towards the hip, working the obliques, all right? So anchor that other arm straight up overhead, 30 seconds, ready, set, go. Crunch. While you do this, make sure that you flex through the spine, all right? Flex so that you're working the side of that torso, all those muscles, keeping the opposite arm Strong and straight, up overhead. Exhale. Breathe out as you crunch it. Good. 10 seconds. And we'll switch sides. Great. Crunch. Bring in those muscles. Activate. Three, two, one. Switch sides and go. Good. And as you separate sides, you'll feel one side might be stronger than the other. Just pay attention to that. And if you feel like maybe you need to Increase the resistance or lighten it up. You can do that at any time. Crunch it down. Breathe. Go ahead. Crunch. Strong, straight arm up overhead. Work through those core muscles. Last five, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going through that circuit one more time, starting with the wood chops. We're dropping the power reels outside of that leg. Nice flat back. Ready, set, and go. Bring it up. Let's twist. Good. Exhale. Now paying attention to where those knees are. Remember to keep them aligned with your toes. Knees over the ankles so they're not collapsing in. Right? And twist. Excellent. Anchor that bottom arm there. Last five, three, one more, and one. Switch sides, let's go. Down and up, perfect. Twist. And we're bringing ourselves slightly past, right behind you, just like that. So slightly past that midline, good. So you're getting a nice extension. Beautiful, hang in there. Last four, three, two, final one. One. We're doing that standing crunch again. Power reels go up overhead. Anchor that arm and drive the elbow right towards your side. Good. So you can see it's coming slightly in front of me and right over that hip bone. Crunch. And I do a little flex with the spine as I lean forward. Exhale. Tighten up those core muscles. Great. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. 
Bring it up, crunch it down. Great, strong top arm. Crunch and flex. Good, you can see how I'm bringing it down. Flexing through the spine, reaching in to those oblique muscles. Great. We're fully focused on the core right here. Boom. Last four, three, two, one more, and one. Good, shake it out, excellent. Okay, let's go into circuit two, getting down onto the ground, starting on all fours. So we want to separate those power wheels about shoulder width apart, place them on the ground. Now bird dogs are where we have one foot back and the opposite arm forward. So while we do that, we're using the resistance of the power wheels to extend and crunch as we go through this range of motion. All right, get started, go. That's it. So we bring the right arm towards the left knee or the opposite, and then we extend. So we have a flexion through the spine, working the front of that core, and then we raise up we're working the postural muscles. There we go. All down the back, into the glute. Last four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, opposite leg back, arm forward, and bring it in. One, reach. Good. Two, excellent. You can flex that back foot. Stabilize on that kneeling knee and that hand that is anchoring the power wheel to the ground. Beautiful. Raise it up and it's not uncommon to find one side is a little stronger than the other. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shake it out a little bit. All right, you're just coming into a kneeling position. We're going to be rotating back kind of stretching out the quadriceps, opening up the front of the body, working those stabilizer muscles through the whole torso and pelvis area while we twist and rotate back. So, power wheels are out in front of you and you can either get up onto the toes with the heels up or down onto the tops of the shoes there and play with that, all right? Reaching back, ready, set, go. Reach, repeat, a little, tilt with the body when you do that. And you can see I'm stabilizing and anchoring that opposite power rail right in front of me. But play, tilt with it, yeah, have fun. Now the idea here is to not break through the hips where you sit your butt down. You wanna lean, good. With a little twist through the torso as you're doing this. Beautiful, last five. Three and one, going to the other side. Ready, set, and go. Back, great. Rotate and twist. So open that shoulder up. All right, reach it back. Good, feeling those torso muscles. Also feeling the glutes. Quadriceps, hamstrings. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go through it one more time. Starting with the bird dogs on all fours. Separate those power wheels, shoulder width apart. Knees are hip width apart. Extend one leg back and the opposite arm forward. Ready, set, and go. In and out, in and out. Good, so the power reel that is anchored to the ground, make sure that you have that shoulder right over that power reel, okay? So you're in a good angle. Good, flex that back foot. Beautiful. Good, last five, four, three, two, one more, one. Place that power rail on the ground. Opposite leg extends back. Ready, set, and go. In 
and out. And you might feel more balanced on one side than the other. It's okay. We're just going to continue to play and practice as we create symmetry through both sides of the body. Feel that core work at the same time as arms. And it's okay if you almost fall over. Play with it. Extend. Three, two, one more, and one. All right. Yes, it's tough. And everything's on fire right now. But that's the power rules. So you know you're doing a great workout because the body is letting you know. All right, go into the kneeling position. We have the power wheels out in front of us and we're gonna go into that twist again. Ready, set, and go. Reach. Good, that opposite anchoring arm is out there, held strong. Great. Keeping those hips straight, no breaking through the hips. Good, working that torso. And that's the great thing about all those core muscles is that there's much more than just your abs in there. So you gotta train those core muscles in many different directions, many different ways. All right, three, two, and one. Going to the other side. Ready, set, and go. Twist. Good. Beautiful. Hold it nice and strong. The anchoring arm is getting a workout too. A little isometric contraction. That won't hurt. It'll burn. Keep working. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job on that. All right, let's head into circuit number three. All right, let's get started with the next set of exercises. Coming down to the ground into a elbow side plank. And you can do this with your feet stacked or a modified version, okay? Dependent upon your ability. And you can always change that up during the motion. So let's work the core a little bit different and use the power wheels as some resistance. So anchor that bottom power wheel, wrap the cord around your hip because your movement is gonna push against that. 30 seconds of a hip drop. So you're gonna touch the ground and you're gonna push up. 30 seconds starts now. Good. So a strong bottom shoulder. You wanna make sure that you're not collapsed into that shoulder. Pressing against the cord against the resistance of the power wheel. Good, anchor that bottom arm. Excellent, crunch, you can feel those right away. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, good. Sack the feet or modify with a bent knee. Bring it over your hips, ready, set, and go. Down and up, good, touch your hips to the ground. Raise it up. Good. Feel like one side is stronger than the other? Good, just take note of that. And as you continue to practice and do these exercises, you'll start to feel that it gets stronger. Gets a little more even. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Go ahead and put the power reel behind your back. And even it out so that you have play on both sides of the power wheels. We're going into a repeat V up. So lie all the way back, legs fully extended, power wheels right at your chest. We're gonna go one arm and the opposite leg coming up at the same time. Three, two, and go. Repeat, great. It returns to your chest and you come out all the way up. If you can make contact with that leg or that foot, even better. Otherwise, just aim for it. Good. Modification, knee bend. All right, good. Powering through, feeling those core muscles, getting those abs in there. Last three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. Ready and start. All right, up and down. Up and down, good, crunch. Work 
working through it, working through the fatigue and the burn. Three, two, and one. All right, let's go through those two exercises again, starting with the side plank, hip drop. Hip drop, hip raise, moving those hips. All right, get into position, stack your feet, or get into a modified version, and let's wrap that power reel around the top hip. Ready, set, and go. Now, the bottom hand is holding the anchoring power reel. So we wanna make sure that that power reel is still in contact with the ground, okay? And that you have a nice kind of comfortable grip on that power reel. So you don't wanna flip your palm over, you wanna keep your palm straight up. Good, and that should be the best position for it. Last five, four, three, two, one more. Good, switch. Doing great, gang. All right, get into that position. Wrap it and tuck up and down. Good. Four, good, raising as high as you can. Yes. Good, pressing the hips up, working against that resistance of the power reel. Feeling those muscles along the side of your core, doing the work. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, repeat V up. Bring the power reel behind your back and lie back, straight legs. Bring those power reels right outside of your chest. Let's go one leg with the opposite arm. Three, two, and start. Up and down, great. Good, breathing as you go up. Press. Repeating that same side. Last five, three, two, and one. Other side, ready, set, and go. Up and down. You can always go into a bent knee like that. Good, challenging those core muscles. Last eight. Oh yeah, it's getting tough. Three, two, and one. Woo, okay. We're into our final circuit of this core and much more, and it definitely has been much more. So we're going to stay on the ground, grabbing your power reels, keeping the other options of resistance close by, and we're getting into a down dog position, so with a reach. So basically, what you want to do is start your position where your power reels are about shoulder width apart, and get into plank. And as you go into down dog, reach one power rail for the opposite leg. Come down into plank and then back up. Let's go ahead and get started. Come on. 30 seconds, repeat. Down and up. So when you return your hips low into a plank, make sure that your hips don't drop lower than shoulder level. All right? That's important because you don't want to put the wrong kind of pressure on that back. Great. Five seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Rest for a moment. We're going to be going into the other side. Yeah, those are tough. I save the tough, toughest ones for the last. Okay, plank position. Ready, set, and go. Good. Raise the hips, touch the power wheel to the leg, or at least reach. Good. And return those hips, level with the shoulders. Beautiful. Hang in there. Last five. Three, 
two and one. Rest down. Woo! Okay, get into a boat pose position. So that's seated, putting the power reels behind your back. And we're gonna repeat one leg tucking in as we push that same side into a chest press. So raise that leg up and press, 30 seconds. Press, good. Press, see it nice and tall, nice flat back. Good, just a small range of motion. Don't need to go more than that. Good, sweating. <laughs> Push. 10 seconds. We're doing the other side, coming up. Last three, two, one. Anchor that and switch. Opposite knee coming up. Good. Press it out there. Knee comes towards you and arm punches right past it. Push. Good. Five, three, two, and one. Rest for a moment. We're going through our final time of these exercises. And once we're done with it, you're done. So take a breath. We're going back into plank position and we're gonna reach across as we go into that down dog, okay? In five, four, plank position, three, two, and one. Reach, return, reach, return, good. Good, repeating that same side. Rest at any moment, come down to your knees, then jump back in when you're ready. Good. Watching where those hips go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. One. Two. Great. Three, strong core and much more. Hang in there. <sighs> nice and tough. Five seconds. Three, one more. And one. Down to your knees. Woo! Doing awesome, gang. It's tough, but it's supposed to be tough, right? We're going back into that boat pose with the power wheel behind your back. This is your final exercise. So give it all you got. You've come this far, let's just keep powering through. All right, ready? Extend one leg out, ready, set, go. Press, press, good, up. Good, just small range of motion, bringing your chest and your knee towards each other, using the resistance of the power wheel. Good, 10 seconds. We're almost there, finish it out. Three, two, and one. Plant that foot, extend the other. Here we go, final 30 seconds. Press. Excellent. Push. Keeping that crunch nice and strong. Keeping the core nice and tight. Flat back. Good. Last five, four, Three, two, and one. Woo! That was a toughie. Nice work, everyone. Please visit our channel for many more exercises. See you later.